Hey, it's me. And today we are going to be watching a video about a passenger who is fat shamed on a flight. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is a quick flight to Oakland, so buckle up, relax, and we'll be taking off shortly. It's a quick flight. I'm guessing it's LA to Oakland. It's going to be like an hour or two. Hi, excuse me. Hey, you should have pulled that AirPod out. Does thou hear words? Yeah. Hi, I'm sitting there. Uh, no, absolutely not. There's no way you're sitting next to me. But that's... Ma'am, I have been on some pretty awful flights, sitting next to some pretty awful people. Unless you have somebody traveling with you and book the seat next to you, you cannot pick where other people sit. You don't know on the plane. Hi, um, that's my seat. And Excuse me, miss? Do you mind? You can't blame me for not wanting to sit next to her. I'm not trying to get suffocated. She needs her own row, not just a seat. Let her sit there. Unfortunately, we do have a full flight today and there are no available seats. So just have to move so she can sit. They even got the armrests that go all the way down. She ain't even gonna touch you. If you don't move, they're literally gonna kick you off the plane. I also don't mind taking the aisle if you want, so I don't bother you in case- You're already bothering me. I'm not giving you my seat too. Ma'am. Ma'am, you are actually this close to getting kicked off the plane. You know, it's risky being a Karen on an airplane. They don't tolerate that behavior. I don't care how early you showed up to the airport. I don't care how much you paid for the ticket. They will call security and get you kicked off. Sorry about that. Let me know if you need anything else. It's like sitting next to Digital Next. Maybe we got off on the wrong foot. I'm Janice. I don't care what your name is, just leave me alone. <laughs> this is where we become foes. I ain't shaking nobody's hands. Especially no stranger on a plane. He's stressed enough as it is. Why do you not like flying? It's not when I'm getting squished to death by the person next to me. You be dramatic, you've got plenty of space. If it's not flying, why are you stressed? If you have to know, I have an interview with the California head of retail at Ulta, Mark Rober. He's a very important person, so I'm trying to relax beforehand. And you're not helping. Sorry, folks. We're waiting on just one more passenger. Just a couple more minutes before we take off. You have an important interview? 2023, you know what everybody else would do? Look up the person on Twitter. The girl you're about to interview? Fat phobic. Canceled, no interview. If you can hear somebody crunching some chips in the seat next to you, your music is not loud enough. Can you stop crunching? Oh, I didn't realize you could hear me. With how loud you're crunching, I'm pretty sure the pilot can hear you. Why are you even eating chips anyway? Um, because I'm hungry. Listen, take my advice. Try a protein bar like me. Maybe if you did, you wouldn't look like that. Protein bars make you bloated. How about eat a filling meal of chicken, veggies, and rice before going to the airport? Who am I trying to give advice to? You know, I'm usually the one that's snacking. Not to flex or anything, before I go to the airport, my mom drops me off and she usually makes me sandwiches. It makes me a little snack box. I know, I'm spoiled. You really shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Whatever, I just don't want to hear any more crunching. I don't want to breathe the same air as you, but here we are, on the same plane. <laughs> Shoot. How are you gonna let your phone die on an airplane? That's just irresponsible. Excuse me, may I get my portable charger from my bag? Absolutely, the fasten seatbelt sign isn't on yet. Thanks. Girl, you're gonna have to move. What now? Sorry, I need to get my bag to get a phone charger. Do you mind moving? Yes, I mind moving. What do you even need your phone for anyway? We're about to take off. I'm meeting someone and I need to find out where they are. <laughs> what do you mean? Just wait until we land so you can charge your phone. What am I gonna do, twiddle my thumbs the entire flight? Well, that sucks. I'm gonna play Wordle or something. Isn't that important anyway? Why would you say that? I mean, come on. Isn't it obvious? People like you are lazy and don't get anywhere in life. You probably spend all your time sitting on your couch eating potato chips and collecting welfare checks. You think you have the right to relax while living off the tax dollars of hardworking people like me. <gasps> what? Girl, this is a one-way flight to getting canceled. Didn't you say you were looking for a job? That doesn't mean I'm unemployed. I'm a junior manager at a food chain. But unlike you, I'm trying to get ahead in life. I'm junior manager at a Carl's Jr. I'm trying to get ahead in life. Girl, that is nothing to flex about. This interview would be huge for me. If I got this job, I'd be a senior manager. Get off me! I am as far away as I can be from you. Well, then maybe next time you should buy two seats instead of one so you don't have to inconvenience the person next to you. The flight attendants will not tolerate that. You make a scene, you are off. They will drag you off the plane. It only so stinks because you know what I said is true. No. It's not true. You don't know 
anything about me or what I go through. You don't even know what I went through before getting on this plane. What are you talking about? You seemed fine. I might have been smiling on the outside, but I have been dying on the inside. Now I feel bad. You see, I've been this size for as long as I can remember. That doesn't stop people from judging me. Everywhere I go, they stare and they make mean comments. That's why I avoid going to public places. While the staring and the comments hurt, the hardest thing of all is when people don't want to sit next to me. They treat me as if I have some infectious disease. That's really sad. And she seemed like such a nice person too. Probably gives great hugs. That's why today, as I got on this flight, I prayed to have an empty seat next to me, just so I didn't have to go through the judgment and the humiliation. But of course, my worst fear came true. Sat next to the absolute worst passenger on the plane. So you see. So you see, you clearly have not watched a Darn Man video in your life. Have some respect. You have no idea what I go through or how much I struggle. That's why I don't need your judgment too. Actually expect me to feel bad for you? Well, <sighs> this flash, I don't. The biggest struggle you have is probably getting your pants on in the morning. Now for the rest of the flight, I don't care if you need your phone charger, I don't care if you need to use the restroom, I don't care if the plane is on fire. Just leave me alone. Girl, if you don't move, do what you gotta do. Smush her on the way out if you have to. You know, I am praying. This ends with her getting dragged off the plane. Flight attendants, please return to your seat. Our last passenger is boarded. Hey guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hey, Janice, there you are. Well, I thought I was gonna miss the flight. I, I did text you though. Did you, did you get it? No, what? Because my phone died. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, I think I'm sitting. Yeah, I'm sitting right there. Hey, empty seat. You wanna join me? Oh my gosh, yes, please do that so I can finally breathe. That would be great. Well, can't oh, now she gets up. Almost didn't make it. Come on. By the way, who did you say the interview was with? Oh, is it that guy? You're gonna like this one. Mm -hmm. She had a great resume and she was highly recommended. I think she's gonna be fine. Ooh. What is her name? Uh Rachel. It is uh, uh, Rachel. Hmm. Ooh. Then you must be Rachel. She knew this whole time? This is Mark Rober, the head of California retail at Ulta. I believe this is who you're interviewing with. You're Rachel Dobson. Yeah. What a coincidence. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. What a small world. <laughs> I was just telling your assistant how excited I am for this opportunity. Assistant? Janice, you didn't tell her? Uh, she's the head of U.S. retail. Oh! Oh, this is quite the plot twist. She's my boss. Since this was a senior manager level interview, she was uh, she was nice enough to join me. So, unlike what you said about me earlier, I actually do have a job, and a pretty good one at that. So, no, I don't just sit around my couch all day eating potato chips and collecting welfare checks. Oh my gosh, she didn't think I was serious about that. Girl, she makes more money than you! I don't know how she just kept the poker face the whole time. Like, oh, you're interviewing for the Ulta job? Girl, you better get off this plane right now because you ain't getting it. I was just kidding. I, I actually, I would love to have you sit next to me. You can even have the aisle seat if you want. And, and didn't you say you need a phone charger? I think I have one in my bag. Save it. No need to be fake nice. I know everything I need to know about you. And we won't be hiring her. Agreed. <laughs> Instead, we can get lunch at that time. Because all I like to do is eat. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Maybe next time, just be a decent human being. Sorry, miss. Yes. It's okay if I get off this flight. I no longer need to go to Oakland. I'm sorry, but the doors have already been closed. And from what I hear, flights back to LA are getting canceled due to the weather. So you may be stuck a while. <laughs> now if you'll please take a seat. Oh no, what an inconvenience. Unbelievable. Finally, a bad ending for the bad person. Woo! But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the fist. Make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.